Welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Zipsky, your host. Today we'll be talking more about word problems, but specifically we want to talk about the formula uh, that's needed to solve these word problems. So the main uh, word problem that you might see uh, quite often is speed and distance, area and volume, and cost, total cost, right? So let's go through each one of them and then see uh, what kind of formula you would need. Now, to, in order to understand about the formulas, you have to understand how it was derived, what is the meaning of it. So let's look at speed for a minute. Right? So when we talk about speed, we're talking about, let's say, uh, driving a car at how many miles per hour. In this case, let's say, you know, if I'm American, I would say I'm driving about uh, 40 miles per hour. Right? I, if I was in Canada or um, in the European, I might say 50 kilometers per hour. Okay, right? So, speed, if you think about it, if it's expressed in miles per hour, kilometers per hour, what is miles and kilometers? They are distance, aren't they? So, we can rewrite it in terms of formula. It's distance, okay, traveled, right? Per, sometimes over, okay, over uh, time, in this case per hour. We could have said, um, you know, I walked um, three meter per minute. That's a bit slow, but let's say, okay, or a turtle walks three meters per minute, right? So distance over time. That's the formula for speed, all right? And we can actually rearrange it. Let's say if you want to find out. Uh, distance of something, we need to know, right, we need to know uh, the speed, okay, which they say 50 um, kilometers per hour, multiplied by the unit of time. And we'll, we'll figure out the, uh, the distance. It makes sense. If you think about it, if I say uh, I walked, you know, let's say that I drove 50 uh, miles per hour, okay, and let's say I've been traveling for four hours, right, how much distance have I covered? You know, that would give me 50 times four, that's 200 miles, you see. So. Again, let's review that. Speed is distance over time, usually expressed if you're talking about you know, uh, driving. It's miles per hour or kilometers per hour. And if you want to figure out what the distance of something is, you need to have the speed, okay, let's say how much you travel per unit time, multiplied by the amount of time you have traveled. And here's the example I gave you, all right? Okay, let's look at now, I hope you understand that, and we're going to maybe uh, later on in the video, I'll show you some of the word problems that associate with speed and distance, all right? Okay, let's look at um, area and volume. Let's erase this part, I don't think I have enough room, so let's just erase this area. Okay. Put a check mark that we did that already. Okay, area and volume. Let's look at, for example, this area here. This is a rectangle, right? To figure out what the area of this uh, rectangle is, we need to know its length and we need to know its width, right? So to find an area, let, let, let it represent A, okay, A for area, multiply by its, so it's going to be equal to length, which is this, multiply by its width, and that's how we figure it out. For example, let's say this was um, 5 centimeter by 4 centimeter, then it would be the length, which is 5 centimeter, multiply by 4 centimeter, that would give me... Um, 20, now notice the unit, centimeter 
squared. Okay, so we taught multiply centimeter by centimeter, that's centimeter squared. It doesn't matter if the unit, for example, is meter uh, length, meter width, then it should be meter squared. Okay, so make sure that you understand that the unit is in squared. Because sometimes the question, uh, you know, in GED may have the answer, but then they have different unit, and that's where the trick is. You have to know what unit to put in the question, in the answer. Okay, so let's, uh, so that word, the formula for a rectangle is length times width, correct? Now, what if it's a square? Well, square, you know, you think about it, the square has the same side, correct? So in that word, it has the same length. Okay, so we'll instead of call it width, we'll call it length for both sides. And so the area of this um, square is actually length times length, or length, short form it, squared. You might have seen length squared. It, squared really means length times length, okay? A number uh, of uh, variable multiplied by itself, length squared, right? So no difference really. It's just in a rectangle is area times length times width because they have different uh, lengths here, right? So we call we call it width. But in this case, we have the same length. We call it in the uh, uh, square is length times length of length squared. Okay, what about the heart one? Actually, is a circle. How do you figure out an area of a circle? Now that's pretty complicated because you know it's not this. Uh, side to side here, we have to look at, you know, the uh, area of the whole circle and then we have to actually memorize the formula for this one, okay? So the area of a circle is pi, okay? Pi is a constant number, right? It's representative as, okay, in purpose of GED, just remember it as 3.14. It actually goes continue on, I believe it's 3.145 nine or something like that that keep going right but for now we say approximately 3.14 so this is actually a number okay when you see the symbol pi it is a number that is that go on infinitely but we uh, approximate that number to 3.14 for now so the area of a circle is area times pi r which is the radius the distance from the tip of the arc of the circle, right? This here, all the way around here, just from that tip on to the center of that circle is R, the radius, okay? Radius is defined as the point of the center of the circle all the way to the tip of its arc, this part here, okay? That's R. If you can measure that distance from the center all the way to the end point, that's R squared, all right? So in another word, R squared, remember just like here, uh, L times L, which is uh, L squared, R squared means R radius times radius. Okay, just remember that, the formula, because that's the only way for you to remember um, the area of circle, is to remember pi R squared. So let's, let's do an example. For example, if you have an area, you want to find an area of a circle, let's say if the uh, radius here, okay, the distance here is about, um, let's make it 2 centimeter, okay? If this uh, area, uh, sorry, if the radius is three, 2 centimeter, what is the area of this circle here? Well, it would be area equal to pi times 2 centimeter, because that's radius that we said was 2 centimeter, squared. In other words, pi times 2 times 2, which is 4 pi, right? Okay, let me see if you can see that. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay, 4 pi. And uh, we said pi was 3.14. Now this time we might need to use the calculator, right? So pi is approximately 3.14. Let me grab my calculator here. Okay. Let's uh, see what that equal to. So uh, 4, okay, times, and sometimes we put a bracket representing multiplication, okay? So 4 times in the bracket means times 3.14, 3.14. That give me, okay, uh, 4 times 3.14, 12.14. 
12.56. Now, remember the unit will always, because it's centimeter in the area, this case is centimeter squared, okay? Uh, 12.56. Again, I use a calculator to multiply 4 times 3.14 to get 12.56 centimeter squared. Okay, so that's the area of a circle. You need to know that. What other area that you might have to figure out? Well, there's another area, the area of a, rec a triangle, okay? Rec uh, triangle, if you recall, let's go through that in a minute, okay? Just let me erase that. All right. Okay, the area of a triangle is given as follows. It's area equal to one half. Base times height. Wow, you think, wow, that, that's pretty complicated. Well, you know what? Let, let, me, let me illustrate for you. It's not actually that bad. Okay, think about this. If I have a square or rectangle, and I split into half, correct? You see, let's say if this represent, uh, instead of saying length, we call it the base. Okay, oh, sorry, let's write it here. The base, okay? B for uh, base, could have been L multiply by its height. You see, we would have say, uh, in order to find the area of this uh, rectangle or square, it would be base times height, correct? So base times height. However, we want to find the, rec uh, the triangle, and so it would be half of this. You see, half. So one half. So really, the area of a triangle is a half of a square or half of a rectangle. Does that make sense? Okay, so it's really a, um, a rectangle or a square, but you cut in half. So the formula becomes one half base times height. And really, the base could have been represented of the length and represented of the you know the width or the height. Okay, so that's how we got this formula. The triangles. If you can remember that, it's really a half of a square or a half of a uh, rectangle. So let's say, for example, let's do a question here. You have um, <clears throat> a base of, let's say, uh, I don't know, four centimeter, okay, and a height of, say, three centimeter. What is the area of that? Uh, and thus, make sure you assume, of course, that this is a uh, uh, right side triangle, okay? <clears throat> so, what is the uh, answer for the area of this? Triangle. Well, the area would be one half. Remember, base is four, so times four, times three centimeter. So the answer is going to be four times three is twelve divided by two. Remember, one half is actually means divided by two. Okay. So in other words, we have twelve. Okay. Four times three is twelve, and then times one half, which is really divided by two, which is six centimeter squared. All right. Okay, so that's pretty much, so you know the area of a triangle. We talked about area of a circle. And let's pause for now. I'm gonna continue on my second uh, video on this formula to do the volume, and then we'll finish off with the cost, the total cost formula.